<laughs> well, Utah's weather authority, Breck Bolton, in with us now. And Breck, we've had a pretty nice weekend so far. Is that going to continue? Well, it will continue on. We'll keep the sunshine around. Temperatures cooling off just a little bit, but it was a spectacular day. Throughout the valleys, we had a lot of sunshine. Over the mountains, some clouds and a few isolated showers, but to end the day, as Scott Taylor highlighted this over the Great Salt Lake, which over the past couple of days, a lot of you sending in those photos, we appreciate it, but highlighting the beautiful sunsets that we've been experiencing here as we move towards the end of the week into the weekend. Right now, we're at 32 degrees. Now, that cold front that moved through overnight will be dropping temperatures as we move towards tomorrow. The flow out of the north, the winds fairly calm right now. Visibility is good. That's a good sign as far as it pertains to air quality, but air quality becomes more of an issue as we look for the upcoming work week. Now let's reflect back where again on average we should be in the upper 30s. Boy, it's been a roller coaster ride. Definitely an upward trend though. Where last weekend, if you recall, it was bitter cold. We were in the 20s, working our way up quickly to the 40s. Of course, we had a couple of storms which brought a mixture of rain and snow and then rain showers towards the end of the week. Friday though, tying a record of 58 degrees. Now we're gonna bring temperatures down and really kind of looking like it'll stay fairly steady here as we move over the next several days. Expected high tomorrow in Salt Lake City, 38 degrees, about where we should be. So we're getting rid of those record warmth. It felt nice though, I have to admit, to get that then the, the first part of January. But with high pressure building in, as we do have that cooler air, Looking at your car wash forecast over the next three days, no concerns. We keep the storms away, but with that high pressure building in, we also will allow a valley inversion to set up. Doesn't look to get too bad, but we know air quality will decrease. Tomorrow, it probably will start off with green becoming more moderate into that yellow category. And that'll be the situation on Monday as the th uh, haze thickens up as we move into Tuesday. Yeah, we're kind of in the doldrums in the winter months where we know that high pressure can build in, and that's what the scene that we're seeing here moving to the beginning of the week. Now, we have a weak system coming in from the southwest, which will bring some showers later on the week for southern Utah, a slight risk for northern Utah getting in the mix. But all in all, this is going to be the scene for the next uh, several days where storm moving away, as high pressure builds in, the skies remain clear, especially above the haze. But tomorrow, you'll see a thin layer of haze. And again, that high pressure will strengthen heading into Monday and Tuesday. We'll bring in some clouds, though, as we head into Tuesday. But really, we keep the showers at bay. No concerns, except for the air quality decreasing, especially as we go from Monday into Tuesday. So for tomorrow, we start the day. As we're looking at clear skies and a lot of sunshine, it's a cold start. We're down into the low 20s. Today we're in the 30s, so it's going to be chilly out there tomorrow morning. And thus reflecting in the afternoon highs, we're going to find temperatures as we'll be in the upper 30s again along the Wasatch Front. Expected high 37 degrees, 38 in Provo, 36 in Price, low 30s in Vernal. Looking like a temperature near 40 degrees in Cedar City and 54 in St. George. And for St. George, we just stay within about one or two degrees variance here for the next several days. It's mid 50s, slight chance of some rain showers on Thursday, a little cooler for the weekend, but all in all, not a bad forecast. Northern Utah, we're getting and moving away from the storm cycle, building in the haze Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Some of that moisture does make a move on Friday where we can see a scattered mix of some showers, only a slight chance, so no big storms. And again, look at these temperatures. They stay in the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. Again, that's where we should be for this time of year.